Hey, this is Excalibur Zero here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the launcher icon of a program in Ubuntu. Um, in, this, in this video, I'm going to be using um, Ubuntu 14.04. Now, I did a video on this before, but the method I used was flawed and didn't work properly. Um, I was alerted to by a user on Reddit. Instead of using the uh, method I used in that video, one should instead um, work with desktop entries and setting up a desktop entry for that program for your user accounts. Now, um, just to change the icon isn't all that complicated. Um, it's pretty simple, in fact. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. Um, the first thing you want to note, there are two directories you're going to want to go to in your file system. On your um, computer, you're going to want to go to User, Share, Applications. And that brings you to the place where um, basically all the um, programs you have are defined. Um, and this is, in my other video, what I worked on editing, which you're not supposed to edit this at all because pretty much everything here kind of just belongs to the updater. And um, any time any changes you'd make would be um, wiped over any time the application is updated. And um, what you are going to want to go to now is on your home drive. You're going to want to go to dot local, which is a hidden folder, share applications. And um, remember, hidden folder you can make appear with Control H. And then you want to go to local. Share applications, and here what I essentially have is basically the same stuff that is that um, same type of stuff that's here is here, but um, this is a def definitions for the program for, for the programs for the whole um, system, but in here you have um, just the definitions for programs for your user account. Now. Um, in order to change the icon for uh, the program for your user account, you're going to want to find your the program that you want to modify on this list here. Um, and what I want to modify is Genome Paint Drawing Editor. Since that has a really bad icon that doesn't scale well, it's fine at normal size, but as you can see here, it gets a bit distorted when it's tried to use any size higher than that. What you want to do is you want to click once and copy and paste it into the local part. And now there's a copy of it here. And as you can see it now has this looks like that file because um, all, all these essentially are same type as those but just appear different in this case. Next you're going to want to open up get it or any type of text editor which I already have open so I'm just gonna take this and drag it in. Um, that makes it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Essentially, this is all the information about the program, its name, what type of program it is, comments, um, what it executes when you run it, what the icon is, and all that type of stuff. Um, essentially, since I've copied it from the um, computer to the local um, settings for that, um, you can now edit it, and any changes you have will remain past any updates, but they'll only remain on your account, from my, from my understanding. Um, so what you're going to want to do to change the icon, is you want to want to find the field that says icon equals, and then it has icon equals something. And then you're going to want to find the icon you want to replace it with. In this case, I have one. I have a quick one that I made um, in Blender here. It's not great, but it's a little bit better than what the system has. Now, what we want to do is we want to um, get the file location of that. You can do that by going right clicking, clicking, on, clicking on properties, um, select the location, paste the location in, do another slash, get the file name, paste that in. And that's it. All I need to do that is save, and then um, restart the computer. And once you restart the computer, the icon will have changed. That's really all there is to it. It's a pretty simple thing to do. 
Um, it's it's not all that complicated at all. Um, you can do it a lot for if there's if icons have like really low um, quality or they're too small and you try to resize you try to resize them up and it doesn't work out very well and get blurred. Um, so you can put in your own ones that are a bit bigger. For instance, here's a nice big one and a nice big one that works on um, that way it resizes a little bit better. Um, but that's about it. Uh, this is Caliber Zero, and signing off, and have a nice day.